I'm sitting here in our schoolroom. You can see the uh, the brightly colored curtains up there and some of the school things um, on the shelves. Um, this is the schoolroom in our house. Uh, my wife homeschools our kids and uh, they just actually finished school yesterday and today. So hurrah for them. Um, I wanna talk about motivation and discipline in a minute or less. Some people say, I need to be motivated. I just don't have motivation right now. And I say, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, good. Motivation comes and it goes. It comes and it goes, and sometimes it lasts for a long time, and sometimes it lasts for a short time, and most of the time it doesn't last for very long at all. So if you're waiting for motivation to go do some things, you just wait around until it comes, and then you'll try and decide to do a few things, and then the motivation's gone, and you'll, and you'll stop. The alternative is discipline. The alternative is to choose to be disciplined. You see, motivation comes and it goes and it lasts for however long it wants to, and I don't really get to control that motivation piece. I didn't get out of bed this morning because I was motivated to get up. No, I chose to get out of bed this morning because I was disciplined. Now, am I disciplined all the time? No, I'm not. But the point is that I get to choose to be disciplined or choose to not be disciplined. So that thing that you're struggling to do that you don't feel motivated to do, stop waiting around for motivation. It probably won't come. Choose to be disciplined and you'll do it. Choose to be disciplined and you'll live the life that you're excited to live. Motivated people don't get very far. Disciplined people, they get pretty far.